What's up guys? My name is Natalie and welcome to my nook of novels. Today I'm going to be doing the mid-year freakout tag. So if you have never heard of the mid-year freakout tag, basically I am just going to be answering some questions about my reading so far this year and things I plan to read during the second half of the year and things like that. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the questions. So question number one is the best book that I've read so far this year and that absolutely has to be Looking for Alaska by John Green. I loved this book so so much and I just recently watched the TV series for it as well and I just love it so much. John Green's writing style is so good and these characters are just so vibrant and so full of life and I just love everything about this book and I'm actually rereading it to one of my friends. That's how much I loved it. I read it a couple months ago and I'm already <laughs> reading it again because it was so so good. Sorry the ring light is glaring on this really bad but but if you don't know what this is about, it's basically just about this boy who decides to go to a boarding school instead of the school he is currently going to. He loves people's last words. His favorite last words are, I go to seek my great perhaps. Whenever his parents ask him why he's going to his boarding school, he's like, I'm going to seek my great perhaps. And I love that so much. It's so poetic and makes me happy. The character Alaska in this book is chef's kiss amazing. I love her so, so much and it's just so good. Question number two is the best sequel that I've read so far this year and that is Glass by Ellen Hopkins. This is the sequel to Crank which I really really loved and this one I also loved just as much. It follows this girl named Brie. I'm trying to remember if her name was actually Brie. No okay her name is Christina. It's kind of confusing because Christina kind of represents her good side and then Brie represents her bad side and so she starts going by Brie whenever she starts kind of making bad decisions and and becoming addicted to drugs and things like that. So this covers some very heavy topics, obviously, and it is just so, so good. If you've seen a lot of my videos, then you probably know that I absolutely love hard-hitting books and books that make me cry. And this and the first book absolutely did because just so many bad things happen <laughs> to this character and it's all her fault. She just keeps making horrible, horrible decisions and you just have to sit there and watch all of it and be like, you know this is gonna end poorly but she still does bad things this blew my mind i didn't see any of the things coming that happened at the end and they just broke my heart i love it so much question number three is a new release that you have not read yet and for this one i'm going with our violent ends by chloe gong which is the sequel to these violent delights so i know this isn't a super new release i think it came out in january of this year if i'm not mistaken but i don't really read or buy new releases that often so so this is one of the newest things on my TBR and I really enjoyed These Violent Delights. It was a very plot focused book which I really enjoyed and it worked very well with the kind of concept of the book I think and there was not a lot of romance that happened but I definitely think that there will be more of that in the sequel just because of the way that the first book left off which I'm super excited to see more of that because I did really enjoy that aspect of it and I'm also excited to see where the plot goes as well. So if you don't know These Island Delights is a Romeo and Juliet retelling set in the 1920s in Shanghai and it follows the children of two opposing gang leaders during a plague. The fourth question is what is your most anticipated release for the second half of the year and for that one I'm going with The Hellbound Volume 2 by Yeon Sang Ho and Choi Gyu Seok. Sorry I had to look at the first volume of the book because I cannot remember the author's names. I really enjoyed the first volume and I'm just excited to see what happens next. It didn't completely blow my mind or anything but it was a very enjoyable read. The Hellbound is about these demonic creatures that kind of emerge from hell and tell people when they are going to die and that they're going to hell and then they come on the date that they say and basically burn the person alive essentially. It basically is just about the different people, what they believe is the origins of the creatures I guess and if they think that these things are real and I'm pretty sure that the release date was originally mid-July but I looked it up again to see when it was and it said it was in August now so I guess it got pushed back but regardless I'm still super excited to read the sequel. So number five is The Biggest Disappointment and that 
that one is Fallout by Ellen Hopkins, which is the third book in the Crank Trilogy. So obviously I was just telling you how much I loved Glass by this author, which is the second book. And this one had the complete opposite effect. The first two books follow Christina slash Brie and her bad decision making, essentially. But then this one follows her children. It switches between the perspectives. I just didn't like it very much because it's so different from the first two books and it just didn't give the same vibes at all because it's kind of just their experiences and they make some bad decisions as well but it's not nearly the breed level of bad decision making. It wasn't nearly as hard hitting. It basically is just following their lives and where they ended up and it just the whole thing just felt very anticlimactic and the big thing at the end I didn't care that much and these characters just I didn't get nearly as attached to as I did to Brie and so whenever they did bad things I didn't care as much I was just like okay you probably shouldn't do that but it's whatever and it just did not break my heart whatsoever and I just didn't really care so I ended up only giving this one three stars unfortunately when I gave the other ones five but I did really love the first two books so I'm definitely glad that I read this trilogy but this one just very much disappointed me. Question number six is the biggest surprise of the year so far and that one is Prey by Michael Crichton. This is a case where I wasn't necessarily expecting to dislike it but I just wasn't really sure if it was going to be a super super great read or anything but I was definitely intrigued by it and I enjoyed it quite a lot. I definitely liked the plot and this was a very page turning book and I kept just really wanting to know what was going to happen next because there were just so many clues just sprinkled throughout the whole book and you could always tell that things were very significant but it was like you had no idea what they meant or anything like that and it was just really fun and I read it super quickly because again I just kept wanting to know what all of the clues meant and what was actually happening and I think I gave it 4.25 stars or something like that but yeah I really really enjoyed this one. Number seven is a new favorite author and for this one I'm going with Alice Oseman. I was about to say Alice Oseman by something because I guess I'm just <laughs> used to saying like this title by this author but then I realized that that is not how that works but anyway a new favorite author from the year is Alice Oseman because I read all four volumes of Heartstopper and I absolutely loved them all so so much. I read them all consecutively and then watched the TV show and I just loved all of it. There was not any one volume that I loved more than the others. The whole thing was so adorable and the characters just felt so real and I don't normally read a lot of graphic novels because it's hard for me to get attached to the characters but this one was different. I just really really loved the characters and watching them grow and develop together was just so enjoyable and I definitely really love this. Oh and I also listened to the audiobook for Nick and Charlie by the author as well because it's kind of a companion book sort of thing to the Heartstopper series. I really really enjoyed that as well so yeah. Number eight is a new fictional crush and this one was super hard for me to decide because I've definitely read a lot of books with very strong characters that I really like but I haven't necessarily had a crush on any of them but if I had to pick one I think I would pick Roma from These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong because he was just the most attractive I guess out of all of the options. I almost went with Sebastian from Autobiography by Christina Lauren but I don't really know. Roma is slightly more attractive but I don't even know to be honest. It was a really hard decision. Number nine is a new favorite character and I absolutely have to go with Alaska from Looking for Alaska because she just is everything. Her personality is just so spontaneous I guess. She just always is just doing random stuff. I just love those vibes. Some of her lines in this are so poetic. She loves to read too which definitely gives her bonus points. I'm specifically thinking right now of this one scene. The main character Pudge, he asks her why she smokes her cigarette so fast and she's like well y'all smoke to enjoy it. I smoke to die and I'm just like I love that. Like I don't know why. Maybe it's because I read the book first and already knew kind of what happened with her and then I went back and watched the TV show and you could tell throughout it I guess but she just is such a broken character and you don't even realize until some things happen and you're like oh my god she's been suffering so much and even though she is experiencing so much pain she still is such a vibrant character and she is just everything. <laughs> Number 10 is a book that made me cry and for this one I'm going with Autobiography by Christina Lauren because the ending I can't tell you why 
why because spoilers this is a gay romance following the main character tanner and the love interest sebastian so tanner is taking this seminar class where you are writing a book throughout the semester and turn it in at the end of the semester sebastian took this class the year previously and he got his book published and so he is working as the ta for the class there is a relationship that is kindled between these two and this is just a such hard-hitting that was not English words. This is such a hard-hitting book because it's in this Mormon town and the main character and his family are Mormon. Obviously, Mormons frown on being gay and Sebastian is gay. It's kind of just his trying to be accepted by his family but knowing that he's not going to be and I guess balancing his religion and his sexuality. I don't know if balancing is the right word but just having both of those, it's so hard-hitting because it would just be so hard to be in that situation and just know that there there's not anything that he can do to change his sexuality, but people still are just so disappointed in him. It's so good. I give this five stars because I loved it so, so much. And yeah, read this book. It's so good. <laughs> Number 11 is The Opposite. It is a book that made me happy. And I kind of was indecisive about this one too. So I went with Heartstopper, but I almost chose Schooled by Gordon Corman instead because just this whole book is just a lot of fun and just made me smile and laugh. And it's just a fun time. If I was a kid, who was raised on a hippie farm but then he has to go to a public school and experience kind of the real world and it's just so funny seeing his culture shock and all of that so that's why I almost picked that but I think Heartstopper has to win because it's just so cute the amount of times that I audibly squealed at how cute it was because just the relationship between these two is just so freaking cute I literally just said that word about 40 times but I just don't know how else to explain it these two are just absolutely adorable together and it just makes my heart happy. It follows Nick and Charlie who Charlie is out and gay and then Nick is originally straight and turns gay because Charlie just is following their romance and they're so adorable and this is just such a heartwarming little series and it's so good. So number 12 I think. I got the numbers all mixed up because whenever I was writing them down I missed a question and then had to go back and add it and then all the numbers were wrong. I think it's number 12 is at the most beautiful book that I've bought so far this year and again it's autobiography by Christina Lauren. I just love these colors so much like this purpley blue and then the sunset in the background and even on the back just the colors and also the book. It's so pretty and I love it so much and last but not least is the book slash books that you need to read by the end of the year and for this one the main things that I'm going with are the end of the enemy series by Charlie Higson because that was one of my main goals for 2022 was to finish with the series and I've been reading it for forever it feels like and I really need to finish it already and I'm super enjoying where it's at so far those were not words again I'm really enjoying how it is going so far and I just cannot wait to finally finish it up so I just have the last two books left which are The Hunted and The End and alongside that I just want to read sequels in general for the rest of the year because I'm always trying to get through the series that I'm reading so that I can start some new series and not feel bad about starting new series because I have so many to continue with. So that is all for my mid-year freakout tag. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see the other videos that I post on Tuesdays. Comment down below the best book that you've read so far this year. My bookstagram and goodreads will be linked in the description if you guys would like to check out either of those and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!